What up, Blue Ridge Nation? It is Gratitude Friday, and I just woke up in the treehouse. And it's going to be a great day. So, I got a great night's sleep last night. It has been an awesome morning so far, soaking in all of these amazing views, and I still have a bunch to do before I head out of here. Last night, I storyboarded and came up with exactly how I want to do the review for this place. So I'm gonna knock that out, and then I need to knock out a live stream interview. I'm gonna hop out on the porch, hopefully it's not too chilly out there, and do an interview, maybe hop on with Matt for a little bit. Probably not do too long of one, but definitely gonna do one to start off the day, because I was supposed to do it last night, but it got a little too late. And, uh, and I'm gonna head back to town. Gratitude Friday, let's do it up. On this episode of Will's Review of a Space, Will ventures outside of downtown Asheville to spend time at the legendary Asheville Treehouse Sanctuary. Let's go see what he's up to. Now that, my friends, is a view that I could get used to. And that is the treehouse. Come on, let's go check it out. This is the Asheville Travels Treehouse. And I just got the opportunity to stay here last night. And it's pretty awesome. We're gonna be giving you guys a review. We'll check it out. Pretty nice. The treehouse is a tiny home, so it's tiny, but it's everything that you need. You walk in and you have a nice front room, a nice couch to lay all of your bags on or sleep on because it looks like it's a futon. Pull out couch, nice, fold out. Got a nice little sitting area. You have your holiday area. TV, I don't watch TV. I don't know how this thing turned back on. It was off earlier. Um, and overall, you got a nice little area right here. You have some good reading, treehouse books. I noticed this earlier, and I needed to give this kid a shout out. I assume it was a child. Now it's better than I could do, but check it out, y'all. This kid knows what's up. Good parents, chose a good name. So, my favorite part of this place, and I'm sure your favorite part too when you come and visit, is gonna be this view. Now, it's a little foggy. Um, a lot of times in North Carolina, um, in the mountains here, we have foggy mornings, and then it'll clear up, and it'll just be absolutely beautiful. Um, but it's a little foggy, so you guys can't see 100%. But nevertheless, it is amazing. If I was staying here, I'd probably be spending most of my time hanging out here on the porch. You have a nice little sitting area, which I do want to make another note. These stools, perfect height. You got yourself a grill. Again, you got the view. And let me just note, it's like nine something, so the sun is over there, but the sun sets right there right there over the mountains so absolutely beautiful and honestly this view is what makes this place but it's not all about the view let's go check out the bedroom 
So before we talk bedroom, of course we gotta talk bathroom. Got a nice little bathroom in here. Walk-in shower, organic shampoo and conditioner. A nice, uh, I'm a big fan of these types of shower, uh, shower heads. Of course we got the toilet, a nice little sink. Another important aspect, guys. Blue Ridge Hemp products hanging out here at the sink. All right, and as you walk out of the bathroom, you enter the stairs, and voila, we have the bedroom. So, one of the cool things about the uh, treehouse is it actually is three stories. So now, I'm standing here on the second story, the bedroom area. Got yourself a nice little table, another one. Of course, we got Wi-Fi. I didn't find this until this morning. I was kind of cold last night, so if you guys get cold while you're here, make sure you know that the thermostat is here. And, of course, this is another view. So you have your private little uh, balcony out here, hang out. You got the sun that rises over here. And you'll see the sun set off of your beautiful view over the front of the roof. And that's what I'm talking about. And last but not least, and definitely not least because it was super, super comfy, we walk up the stairs again to the third floor and we have the bed now the bed will come made I slept in it last night and didn't really make the bed but I had a really great night's sleep and I really enjoyed the time that I got to spend here while it was short um, but it was a nice little getaway from downtown Asheville where I live um, this place is awesome and we are excited to do more work with Motley Hospitality and Nicolette in the future. We look forward to bringing uh, a bunch of people here to the treehouse to check out this amazing space and it's available for any of you guys out there watching this now to rent. So here in the description, check out the link and you yourself can come here to the treehouse, book a stay, and enjoy the amazing view, this amazing sitting room, the amazing kitchen, the amazing bedroom, and everything that this place has to offer. Big thanks, big shout out to Asheville underscore travels, Nicolette, Motley Hospitality for inviting us to come to this amazing space, letting us enjoy it, letting us do a review, and sharing it with you. Thank you all for coming in and joining me. I'm excited that you came and watched, and we will see you next time on the next review of a space. Sure, let's call it that. <laughs> yeah, you made an amazing point there, um, saying that you don't even have to publish it. Um, and I think that that's where a lot of people get caught up, and I think that that's maybe where it helped me out in a sense of like, I was recording things for a good like three weeks to a month before we ever did publish it, so I wasn't faced with having to like watch that and be embarrassed, or like face that and be like, oh, I look so silly when I did that. I just did it. And it was like record, 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 document, 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 and put it out there. And even now, I mean, when you're recording, um, when you're sitting there editing, there's, I would say like a, a good percentage of every single day, um, or not a good percentage, but at least like at a certain point in every single day when I'm taking the camera out and I'm straight up telling you, and it's funny cause I call Matt in the, when I talk to Matt in the vlog, I call him future Matt cause he's watching it in the future. So we have this weird like paradigm of like different realities going on. Um, but I always tell future Matt, I'm like future Matt, this isn't for the vlog. This is just for me. And I'll sit there and I'll say something that's like really like deep to me or something that's on my mind um, or something that I just want to document and it's not even necessarily to put out to you guys um, but it, what this vlog has become for me is my way of journaling and my way of, um, oh no Matt you're, you went away, um, but it's become my way of journaling and my way of, of venting and my way of, you know, um, shit, 
Um, you went away for a little bit, but hopefully you can hear me. Um, but yeah, it's become... Nicolette, she's in here with us. Nice, what up Nicolette? Um, yeah, so like the blogging has become like my way of journaling and my way of like letting my emotions out and letting my feelings out. And like Matt, you, I haven't told you this yet and I haven't, everybody can know, but like two nights ago, I like completely, <laughs> God damn it. Um, <laughs> um, like two nights ago, I straight up like broke down in tears on the vlog. And like straight up just like let out my heart. And like that was for the vlog. So I look forward to you, um, you know, editing that part. But it's just like, you know, you don't necessarily have to be like afraid, um, but just like opening yourself up. So the live stream is complete and I am going to head out. It has been an amazing um, less than like eight hours here at the tree house. Um, thanks to Asheville Travels, thanks to Nicolette uh, for allowing us to come and stay at this beautiful home. Um, and now it's time to head back to Asheville. See you guys probably uh, back at home or back in the store. I guess we'll have to see. Of course though, before I leave, gotta make sure to sign the guest book. And I'm out of here. Boom, and just like that, I am back downtown. Here in the house just for now, for a minute, and then I'm heading back out, gonna go back to the office, and going to continue on this great day. I'm gonna be dropping the, uh, well I actually guess I did it last night at like one o'clock, but I'm gonna be announcing our very first Gratitude Friday uh, blog, I keep wanting to say vlog, blog post today, so I'm really stoked about that. I'll be getting a post up. And who knows what else Gratitude Friday will, I don't know what the right word to say is, will uncover or how it will unfold or something like that. I don't know. Oh, and back by the store. Look who it is, it's I'm Asher. Late. Asher, Sorry. look at this craziness that's going on today. What is happening? What is happening? I know. Letty, are you ready for it? Jen. Oh my god. All right. Reaction, reaction bid. This what is not normal. I like that shirt. What shirt? That one. Ooh, you would look really good in that, Asher. Maybe too small. I don't know. It might be tight and like nice looking. We well, should go through and find some stuff that might fit you and be, look good on you. You can try it on. There's a dressing room. Some clothes. All right, so we're I got work to work. Okay. And yeah. trunk show number five is in action. Sure. Does that look small? That sure it totally fits. If you wore a shirt underneath it and it was more it like an overshirt. <laughs> Damn, you look cool as fuck. What if I just crop top it? Dude, even better. Now you look I, like a real bass yeah, player. Cut it. Like, Have you ever seen a what? Oh shoot, like right there? Yeah, cut layer, like maybe the first layer where it's cut off. Just cut it honestly right looks here. good if you don't raise your raise your arms. No, but I gotta do that a lot to do things. How often? Like all day. <laughs> you can wear like a little rest. belly guard or something. Dude, I get a cummerbund. Yes. Like yes. <laughs> a cummerbund. Yep, I got it. I got it. Zoomed out all the way. Well, we're gonna. Yeah, it is. All right, cool. Well, here we are. You're getting it live and direct. We're gonna go deep into the belly of the beast of the Urban Gypsy Trunk Show, hosting it here in our shop. Got a variety of things. Children of all ages. Adults. Our office is still here, but it's been transformed into all sorts of tarot, fun, clothes, unicorns, little lounge area, psychiatric help booth, Jed, L, free high fives. Oh, Damn, while Seth and I are over here reviewing the most recent vlog, <laughs> Asher's out Asher's shopping. out there fucking shopping, getting Damn. set up. Asher, come and model this one. Give us a spin. Know, yeah, give that us a spin. That was a good catwalk. That was a really yeah. good catwalk. You looked so confident. Yeah. Give us I a spin. I think it's technically a girl's jacket, but I don't care. 
Yeah. All right, the trunk show is in full swing. I just got back uh, from the kitchen, hang out with the girls, and they are about to come back and check out the trunk show and hopefully score some great clothes. But, Matt, let's throw up a dope ass fucking cinematic edit. Wait, 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 it's not recording. We gotta throw up a cinematic edit of them walking across the street. All right, ready? Ready, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> To go in and score, hopefully. We like some, deals. Yeah, yeah, they like deals. deals. And, and, and for real though, look at their look like at all their outfits and their individual their individual styles and I their individual outfits. <laughs> Kaylee's rocking. Her. <laughs> Kaylee looks beautiful. She looks beautiful. Yeah. Joanna looks beautiful. Jill looks, Jill looks beautiful. <laughs> and of course, uh, Will. Will. Uh, <laughs> some major choices. What did you get? Let's see them. This really, you know, hefty, handy sweater with all the Let holes. It'll it? definitely keep me warm. Yeah, that's nice. Definitely keep me warm. With well, it's like holes. a, it's a layer. Yeah, it's definitely layer. not going to be like the, the base layer. This shirt Joanna doesn't like. Ooh, I feel that. Layer. You could wear that to Maylaw. Maybe. You definitely could. You could wear it like that one. It's kind of see-through. <laughs> and then let's see. And then we got the this jean jacket. jean jacket. That's a nice little jean jacket. Where's Jed's leash? Because I want to take him out. Can I say that you're going to be rocking these threads? Is that clothes? Clothes? Is yeah, that, I like, think that's a cool yeah. way of saying threads. I mean, you can see, you guys can imagine me in these shorts. It's yeah. a little cold now, but it'll be cold next week. But we'll bring the heat. It'll be fire this Christmas party. These shorts, this vlog. Woo! Yeah. Whoa. Oh my gosh, that was a little. something super neat. Jill has some awesome style, as you can tell by her hair. Hi. So, Jill? Yes? Reveal yourself. Damn. All right, let's check it out, the little designs. So we have a rocket, a fucking girl wearing a goddamn dress. This sick ass pin, look at this thing. Polka dots and the hair to match. Some side boob action too. <laughs> and some fucking polka dots on the back. Polka dots on the butt. That thing is sick AF. If you don't get that, then you are a failure. You should get it, it looks great. It's totally your style. Why are you videoing me? Because you're about to go and show everybody what you what you've picked out. All right, Joanna, the first pick. What do you got? Very stylish. Stylish, black, black nice and Cut soft. Fringes super here, soft. You know, look not at the, too look square. At the Let's see. Well, now, it's too tight. It's too tight. Give us a spin. Hey, Joanna, let's check out the next outfit. Boom. All right, let's see the next one. Damn, Princess just, Joanna. Jed, Jed thinks that you should wear that to the Christmas party. Let's dunk. That's what you'd feel like if you were a piece of mail. Alright, so we can see. We're gonna go grab a Gratitude Friday meal. Oh God, so this is a dope food. ass restaurant that I've been wanting to go to. Let's see, I'm bringing that I've been going a date. for a while now, and Joanna's gonna take me on a date. I'm super excited. Thanks, Joanna. You're welcome. We'll see you guys in there. <laughs> All right, I'm hungry. Me too. <laughs> Starving. Let's get some food. <laughs> Trying out this new restaurant that. that we haven't ever tried before. And I'm That's super stoked. Oh, Joanna's tried it. I haven't tried it though. All right, let's try it out. All right, so first impressions is it smells amazing in here. And I like the vibes, the white with the pink. Very schmancy, very schmancy. It's in West Asheville. So um, guys, just to give you some context, we're in West Asheville right now. Um, I live downtown and the store is downtown. So I don't really- You can't quite trotter here. Yeah, I can't really ride the trotter here. So um, 
It's a treat. Thanks, Joanna, for driving me. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna check out the menu. Looks like there's some good stuff on there. Is it like small plates or what is it? Um, no, there's a bunch of different things. Cool. It's like Indian. Well, let's Isn't figure it? it out. Okay. Right now, Fancy I'm scene arriving. you here, Jillian. <laughs> oh, hello. Sniffy sniff. Let's see the sniffy sniff. <laughs> Get your it's too late. Meal in there. You should have done that when it was already first poured. I'm getting notes of leather. Leather. Dark cherry. Dark cherry. <laughs> musk. I'm not getting much musk. No musk. I'm getting leather and dark cherry. All right, this is the first thing that showed up. It's this weird little turd poop thing. <laughs> Hopefully, it doesn't give me heartburn. <laughs> yeah. Think <laughs> thoughts and conversation that we can share with the world. Cause like if we talk about something that's like a subject that like new age folk or yoga folk really are interested in their own personal journey, it might be really interesting to them. Get out. We got some more stuff that showed up. This is a salad. I know. <laughs> and it looks awesome. And then we have whatever this is. Roasted so this thing, this like root it's vegetable pomegranate. thing. With got pomegranates in it, but it has some weird things that we don't know what they are. <laughs> if you know, then you want That's like a radish here. It's like weird. It's got like a little horn Maybe on it. Maybe it's a turnip. It's like, I think it it's is. A rude vegetable. Look, I believe that it might be. Check it out, Joanna. The unicorn of root vegetables. No, it's your eye and it's then a it's nerve ending. It's a root vegetable narwhal. Man. Yeah, I think you need to work it out. Look at that tempeh. And then look at this. I should have listened to you, Joanna, because that looks absolutely that amazing. That looks pretty good with sticky rice. This food looks amazing. We're going to enjoy it and uh, I'll let you know what you think. Joanna, one out of five? Uh, or one through five? Oh. I'd give it a solid four also. Yeah. Jill, oh shit, you're here. Jill, we just gave our reviews. Both Joanna and I gave it a four out of five. What do you give this restaurant? I think a four. And four out of five is really good. Yeah, it's really good. Well, I'm still digesting, so I can't give my full. Right. All right, we'll experience. find. We'll hear back from Jill on Monday. <laughs> However, <laughs> we tried. My friend and I tried about five different things, and they were all within like that three to four range. Each of them. The sauce game, super on point. Sauce game. The sauce game was on point. On the poly aioli, had to try that. They brought it out. I didn't even have to ask. They just knew that I yep. love chipotle aioli. Yep. <laughs> How did they know? Did you tell them? Nope, we didn't tell them. No. <laughs> and just like that. Um, how, what is this place Bim called? Berry Bond. Bim Berry Bond. B B B. You got a review straight out of the Blue Ridge Hemp Company team. It's the only thing that matters. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm a robot. <laughs> Gratitude Friday, finishing off the night strong. It is 12:50, just about one o'clock, and I. I'm feeling super, super, super accomplished because I just crushed through about 80 something direct messages, almost all about pet tinctures. People are still blowing us up after putting up a post on Thursday about them, um, two posts actually, and really excited to make that a actual product in the future. This has been an awesome day. We got a we had a bunch of fun today. It started off completely different out at the treehouse. We had the trunk show going on. I had an amazing meal with Joanna where we got a chance to really connect. Um, Joanna is one of the most important people here at Blue Ridge Hemp. She manages our entire production of all of our products. Um, she does an amazing job helping to support me and helping me to grow as an individual and I will always, always, always be grateful for her. She's also one of my absolute best friends in the entire world, and I have so much love for her and her family. So big shout out to Joanna. Uh, Matt, make sure you include that here in the vlog. Guys, thank you so much for being here for another amazing week of Inside Blue Ridge Hemp. We are grateful for their, this experience. We are grateful for this opportunity. And I am truly grateful for each and every one of you. Please like this video. Please subscribe to our page. And if there's anything that we can do to help support you, please let us know. Thanks, guys.